my first dissertation was in artificial intelligence in 19 early 1970s where it was a very rudimentary field now it's very advanced and we were trying to get computers to play chess which was very dif difficult to do in those days now of course computer can beat anybody in chess so from that onwards i have been following and been part of these different revolutions so the first thing i want to discuss with you is from that experience and i keep in touch with the trends i want to assess the challenges that will face the youth in the near future because if you want to give advice to youth ke bhi ye karo kaise institution banao jo topic hai aaj ka first you have to give assessment of the situation that you will live in your world will be different from my world in what way so i'll give you a few facts you see 50 years ago when i was entering college most of the jobs today most of the industries where people are working today did not exist there was no big market for it the it technology internet telecommunication very small time uh, you know automobile industry very small time these uh, airlines so the most of the fields in which people have jobs today did not exist so rate of change is increasing fast what happened in the last 50 years will happen in the next 20 years which means that if you are 20 or 25 by the time you are 45 most jobs that exist today will not exist this is very surprising you think ke we jo jo hamara career hai chalta rahega but you have to learn to reinvent yourself every 20 years because in 20 years most of the careers will not exist in fact i can tell you artificial intelligence experts by and large agree that within 20 years to 25 years 90% of today's work will be done by computers this is very startling very stunning you know things happening very fast from driverless cars to drones that are going to do all this stuff for you so if vast majority of jobs that people have and that you think you would like to have would not exist what is the future of 1.3 billion people what will we do this is what you should think about rather than worrying about wo left wing hai wo right wing hai wo kis wing hai do, do wing hai kisi ke koi wing nahi hai rather than all this nonsense you should think about the real issues that face the country and that will face you so if there is going to be massive unemployment from this today's economy then we are chasing ke bhi hamari itni gdp growth hai hum ye ye technology le aayenge ye market karenge wo product banayenge but we may be obsolete lot of this that we are aspiring may not be good enough now you might say ki i talk to one minister senior person i interviewed in delhi so when i saw, told him this ki aapka kya plan hai jitna bhi aap planning kar rahe hain wo to aaj ki technology aaj ki industry hai what will happen so he said no no because uh, uh, we will get into that also that's good to say but artificial intelligence 80% of the patents 80% of the companies are owned by either USA or China USA owns number 1 China owns not that below bit but number 2 very aggressively moving up between the two of them they own 80% 20% rest of the world India less than 5% so what is this going on? how are you going to compete if we are lagging behind the major technologies then you look at nanotechnology you look at the genetic based technologies and on and on solar energy solar panels china is making the majority of solar panels for the world the chinese mobile company will be the largest in the world in 2020 next year right now it is number 2 it is ahead of apple and just behind samsung so wo to ja rahe hain bahut gallop kar rahe hain aage right so this is the you have to take st stock of the world and where will be your future and we think there is youth dividend jitne bacche paida karo fayda hoga more market maybe it's good for the uh, you know corporate people who are selling things because they'll say make more money but more consumers more stomachs to feed 
only helps if you can keep them employed, if you have jobs for them. But you know, 20 million people in India, young people in India, reach the age of job, wanting job. There are not 20 million new jobs created, hardly 3, 4, 5, 3, 4 million new jobs created. So what happens is every year there's more people demand, demanding jobs than the supply of jobs. This is getting worse. It is not a problem of this or that government. Please listen to me. This problem is a very serious problem. Where is it? We have not been serious about controlling the birth rate. We have just said that youth dividend will happen, this is the We were told that India will level off at 1 billion. Then we were told that it will level off at 1.1 billion. Aise karte karte. The point is that we just don't want to face this issue. Because the medical breakthroughs are going on increasing the lifespan. And every time the lifespan increases, the population size will increase, you see, because the death rate goes down. Ask the medical technology people, will the lifespan reach a maximum and they will say no, because whatever is the lifespan, they can keep making it better. So this means that this population will level off at this number, that number is based on assuming that this is the lifespan, but their lifespan keep changing. So these forecasts are not valid, they are just to make you happy. So this is the, I see a very dramatic existential threat of overpopulation. If you, you can't keep people employed, you don't have unlimited water resource, land resource. So what will happen is the world will become more f fanatically competitive because the increased population with increased demand and less and less supply of natural resources. Natural resources will become scarce and demand for these will become more. So the, you will have more wars, more cala calamities, more clash of civilizations. Please, this is not some scare tactic. I'm just telling you facts. You have to look at what are the facts of different trends. And if you look at it, koi 7, 8, 10 percent GDP growth se kaam nahi banega. Because the, unless you solve very fundamental problems like I'm talking about, which is huge obsolescence of jobs with the new technology, growing population, you know, all of that. I'm not even telling you things like you know, China may take the northern rivers, where the rivers come from Tibet, put dams and make uh, water scarcity. I'm not even talking about those things. I'm just talking about basic trends that we are facing. The next generation need to be very aggressively problem solving, solving problems, addressing problems, rather than infighting, and this is very disappointing. I visit China, I talk to those people, I haven't for the last few years, but I have a lot of very good friends, Korean friends, I have very good friends. I find that some of these countries, the youth are very together in aggressively moving their country forward into the future. And here we're putting a lot of time fighting useless, trivial, inconsequential, nonsensical fighting. In fact, I asked, uh, I asked uh, there was a young woman, a college one, uh, Indian, who just come back from uh, staying in a foreign university. So I asked, what are some of your experiences dealing with Indians there, Chinese students? And she made a very important observation. She said, ki hamare university mein, uh, each student has to be also evaluated by the other students. They have some courses where you are evaluated not only by the teacher, but you also participation and all that, your paper term project evaluated by each other. The Chinese always stick together and give each other good marks. And in uh, di discussion debate, they'll defend each other. Indian is going out of his way to bring each other down. They're true. And I said, this, this is the observation of this young person. So this is how our uh, mentality is sort of like that. Jugaad hai, thoda chalta hai. Today I launched this book called Chalta Hai India. <laughs> that is, uska video hum nikalenge abhi. So you know, now if you, the, the right comparison for your generation is not ke Pakistan. They used to say ke hum Pakistan se itna aage hain. In South Asia, India has the biggest growth rate, as if we South Asia mein badi baat ho gayi. 
Maldives hai, Nepal hai, they are nice countries but you can't, it's a stupid comparison. You have to compare with China and everything. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here and also hit the bell icon to make sure you get notified. To donate, please click this button.